This is a video response to uh, Religion Free Deist's idea that John 1.19 possibly begins a new gospel. The question is, does John 1.19 uh, begin a new gospel by uh, John the Baptist? My opinion is that it does not. The reason why is because um, the gospel actually begins earlier at verse 15 where we find that John bore witness the same word the same word being used for testimony this is the New World Translation uh, where he says the one coming behind me has advanced in front of me because he existed before me so John's testimony has already begun and so in verse 19 it continues it by saying and uh, this is the witness of John when the Jews sent forth priests and Levites from Jerusalem. So this is a very specific uh, reference uh, for verse 19. I think that the religion of free deists is kind of uh, focused on those words, this is the witness of John. It kind of pops out at him. This is the testimony of John. And, um, and he's not recognizing that uh, and is before that, and when is behind that. He's sort of thinking, well, you know, if this was this is a testament of John, period, then maybe that would start a little gospel. But as far as this is concerned, uh, uh, it's not in the context here. So uh, what is missing now is uh, the, c the text itself. And Kai, as he was saying before, it wouldn't belong there if this was the introduction to a new gospel. But this is very specific to when. Uh, when... Um, he was before the, the scribes and priests who were sent by the Jews to uh, have this testimony. So I believe that that is uh, a, a significant av uh, avoidance of, of the actual text and context that's here. So um, John's testimony, I believe, is literal and specific. And what I mean by that is, is that, for instance, if I were going to go to Hawaii and testify in a trial, I would... I could, be, I could say I testified about my trip to Hawaii, and then when I got to the trial, my specific testimony was, was taken. So this is what uh, John uh, is saying here, is that this is the specific testimony before the scribes and the priests in those verses. And in that case, those verses are only going to refer to um, uh, verses... Uh, 19 to 23, those five verses are only going to refer to those specific verses of when John is testifying before the uh, scribes and priests. John 1, 24 through 27 continues with something else, which is his testimony specifically um, by the ones sent by the Pharisees. So that's the difference. So what John is simply doing is giving a specific reference to uh, when John testified before the scribes and the priests, and it's part of his overall introduction to um, the context of, of leading up to uh, when Jesus Christ was being baptized. And so it's not really the introduction to any new gospel at all, uh, because it's just too specific to to uh, his actual testimony and, to, and and what it does is ask questions and then gives his answers so this is a so testimony here I believe is a very literal thing so uh, these things are put there to just introduce the general idea first it introduces Jesus Christ uh, as his heavenly position as the only begotten son in heaven and then uh, he starts talking about how John's testimony about Jesus uh, was that he was the Lamb of God, etc., and it leads to uh, Jesus' uh, baptism uh, scenario. And uh, so it's not a new gospel. So uh, we can see right here that John is uh, being baptized, uh, Jesus is being baptized by John here. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. I, sometimes my computer kind of is strange. Okay, there you go. There's John being baptized by, uh, Jesus being be baptized by John. Now we're going to take uh, a look at the second aspect of uh, this question, which is why Jesus is called uh, uh, the Word, which was brought up by re religion free deists. 
Jesus Christ as the Word, or the Logos. Jesus is also known by a few other titles. For one thing, uh, he is the called the only begotten Son of God. He's the only son, begotten Son of God. He's called the firstborn of all creation. So he's the first uh, angel created by God. Uh, and he commands with the voice of an archangel, uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16, which confirm he is uh, Michael the archangel. So why is Jesus called the Logos, or the Word, the Logos? Because creation occurs by the spoken word. God used uh, the words... Uh, when God created Jesus, he himself personally spoke the words of creation, whereas Jesus uses, spoke, speaks the word to all other creations. God said, you are my son, I today have become your father. Those are the words of creation that God used just for Jesus. Uh, why is he called the only begotten son? Because only God uttered those words himself. The other, For the other angels, he never said anything because Jesus Christ was being used uh, to create everything else. Jesus, everything else was created for, by, and through Christ. So if I give you an example, for instance, uh, if God was all alone, and in order to create something, he had to go into this sound booth. We'll call it the creation booth or the begetting booth. So when he wanted to create Jesus Christ, he got went into the booth and actually spoke the words, uh, you are my son, today I become your father. And then Jesus was created. But after Jesus was created, and he was there, God said, well, we got a lot more work to do. We're going to create a lot more other things. So he said, okay, I'm going to write down what I want to uh, have created, and I want you to take it into the, into the sound booth, the creation booth, and audibly uh, speak out, uh, read aloud what uh, I've created, what I've uh, put down, uh, my instructions. And so Jesus went into the sound booth and, and just read off out loud what needed to be created. And therefore, everything else was created uh, by Jesus' word. So he became known as the word because that was his um, part of the creation process. That's why he's called the Logos or the word because uh, by every other thing was that was created was by his, his direct word. He's the only begotten son because God himself had to personally utter the words uh, to create Jesus. But Jesus utters the words to create everything else. So therefore, Jesus is called the only begotten Son, and he is also called uh, the Word of God. So that's a little background for you. He is Jesus. Uh, I mean, he is Michael the Archangel, of course. And uh, Hebrews is really talking about what other angel did God ever utter those words for. He's not saying that Jesus is not an angel. He's just saying that God never uttered anything uh, to create the other angels because Jesus himself was being used uh, to utter the words of creation. And that's why the Bible says everything else was created through Jesus Christ and by him. So he was involved in the creation process for every other thing. And because uh, Jesus um, had to be created by God himself, he is called the only begotten son, the only son that God directly begets uh, by his own personal words uh, to create uh, Jesus Christ. So that's why he's called the word, and that's why he's called the only begotten son. So I hope that's pretty clear, and I enjoy your videos, and I hope that was uh, not too confusing. Thanks uh, very much, and uh, love for you to comment on what I've uh, presented.